In this video, I'm going to show you how to put a square window in a round wall, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a rather long video, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to come back seven foot. We have a 12 foot wide wall here, just to give you an idea what the arc is going to be there. We are going to need a center line you can put other lines in if you are going to have a variety of different windows in your walls. I like to find the center of the windows and go from there. But it would be fine if you worked from the edges also, and then you wouldn't need a center line. Hope that makes sense. Now what I have here is a box that the window is going to go into. I just want to kind of jump ahead here, give you an idea what we're looking at. The window would set in like this. Don't forget to allow your for your quarter inch gap between the window and the wood framing That's uh, or whatever the window manufacturer calls out. Go back to here. We have two foot and a half inches and three foot and a half inches because the window is going to be a two foot by three foot uh, window. Let me go back to here. Now I just kind of cut this board here like this, um, kind of, you know, you don't need this. You can just draw the line if you want, figure out what it's going to be from the outside of the wood framed box you're going to build and then draw your lines here or make a mark there. Now let me go ahead and skip ahead. Now you are going to also need to use this section right here for your curved for your curved um, framing plates that you would that will be used later. So this when we get our marks here, which we are going to get from snapping a line from the center to the edge of our mark for our square box that we built, then we will also need this. So you will need to lay this piece out right here and cut it. Um, could be cut out of plywood also. I have it as a 2 by you cut out of a 2 by 6 I would imagine for an arc like this or a 2 by 8 and uh, again this will be an important piece which you will see in a few moments. Next step will be to mark for your king studs. Back to there. Here's our window and again we can see how everything's working out here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the header. You're not going to see this throughout the rest of the video. I made a mistake and I didn't feel like fixing the rest of them. So I went ahead and fixed this one. And it is a three by six header. You're gonna to have to find a header that fits in between here. Now, if this was a two by six wall, Two by five and a half inches wide, I could have put a four by six in here or a four by four, but you're going to have to make all of these considerations before you actually build the wall. Make sure that the header actually fits that you need. It's a two foot window. I'm sure a four by four would have worked. A three by six would probably replace that just fine. And uh, sometimes you're gonna be able to double up the boards, maybe two two by sixes, something like that, two two by fours to create your own header. And you can see here where we are using the square insert and the curved framing plate that I was talking about. So we have a square and then a curve here. This is going to follow the contour of the curved wall and the outside you are going to have a curved section and then a flat section for the window. Give you an idea how it's going to be curving out here. This is going to be in a little bit. This one here is going to be out almost even with the window in this example. You might have a gap in between here. Um, just center the box that you built and uh, you can always add some shims or something if you need or screw it uh, the two by fours together. That gap is not necessary, by the way. It's just how it worked out in my drawing. Another look at the header. Again, a two and a half inch wide by five and a half inch. And then, of course, the uh, cripples or the little stud jack studs here go around them. 
you could always just cut the jack studs and then add a furring strip here or a couple couple more if necessary take a look at the inside and again you can see where I'm keeping the header in between the curved area I'm not using the square area I'm keeping this in between the curved area so that I can continue the drywall or the plaster whatever you're going to use to follow the contour of the wall on the outside and the inside without the header obstructing that curve in this example, I'm going to curve the bottom here instead of having it straight like the other example. And all that's going to require you to do will be to create a curved piece. Uh, and again, you can do this all with your template. And this can also be done. You can cut this out of one piece. It would be flat on one side and curved on the other. But I just kind of did it as two pieces here to give you an idea. This would be uh, angled. This part uh, would need to be angled here to match the curvature of the wall. Outside is the same, flat on the outside. And this ought to give you an idea of what I was, how I was building the sections here. And this could all be done out of one piece, like I said. You could cut this, this, and this could be one piece, and then these side studs could be one piece and of course the top and the bottom would be the same just kind of throwing out some other ideas there now let's take a look at how we can trim out the outside and you can see here that i have a couple of flat two by fours and then a straight line on the back of this board and then a curve in the front Let's give you an idea what we're looking at. So the curved wall is going to continue to go around to match the contour of this. It's giving you an idea of what it's going to look like there. Here's the trim for the outside, flat on the back, curved in the front. And again, this is just one way to, to trim this out. There are plenty of different ways to trim it out. And if you need more ways, feel free to leave something in the comment area. And I will uh, see if I can come up with a few more. And uh, here it is with a stucco finished wall and wood trim. If you are going to use stucco, you can always use foam or use um, two by material framing lumber to um, create some type of trim also and again that would be my another idea of something I could show you we can see here where the curved stucco matches the curved trim at the top and at the bottom here we can see that it is straight here everything looks good side pieces look good you can see here where it's curving around, curving around. Again, nice shot of it there. And that is it for the outside. Now let's take a look at the inside and you can use different trim. I just have like a one by four here, one by three, three quarters of an inch thick. You will need to create some type of a window jam and again you could do this like I said a variety of different ways I'd be glad to make some more videos got a quarter inch reveal all the way around looking good there trimmed out now on the bottom here since you're going to have a curved wall and a flat piece you're going to need some type of a trim board that's going to be shaped and I've actually just filled this up with um, caulking too. I've actually just filled these up with other materials, you know, put a scrap piece of lumber in here and filled it in and uh, let it go because most people aren't going to see it. But uh, again, you might be a perfectionist and want to see uh, a nice curved piece that looks good, even if you're probably never going to see it. So here we can see I have the trim trim nailed to the outside of the curved board. Now let's uh, go ahead and take, take away the trim to see what it looks like. You can see the 
jams in here. I say the jams, but the window jams, I guess that's what they are still. And here's the shape piece of lumber. Another view, shaped lumber. The jams, take away the jams. You can see the framing, what it would look like before with just the shaped lumber. And let's go ahead and put that thing back together. And that is how you trim out a square window and a round wall. I hope you liked the video. And if you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And I am going to put a link to another video here that I made to, uh, to give you a little more information about designing some of these windows. This is a two foot window. So if you're going to use larger windows, you could end up with some big problems. And that's what I'm gonna explain to you in, the, in that video.